get ourselves into that destiny. Right? Get yourself into the destiny that God has for you. Get yourself into the place where God wants you to be. Okay? And I pray that, you know, we don't think about the world and the world, the Bible says the world passes away and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Yes, something that fell on put here. Yes, he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. All right, so I pray that God will help us that we search for our destiny and don't even really, you don't really even need to be searching. All you have to do is that the day you give your life over to Christ, then let him do everything. Okay, because as I said, not all that glitter is gold. People are running, you are running after this and you think this is it and this is it and this is it. And sometimes a lot of the diverge away from it. Because it looks like it is the most beautiful thing and it, it is a trap. Samson got himself in that. I mean, Solomon was in so many of those things. And so we have looked at two women today, right, from the scripture, who were in their destiny, right, because God stepped into their life. Okay? I, Esther, from she was a young girl, she was grown to know the ways of God, right? Ma Mary Magdalene, for whatever reason, she was not going to fulfill that, but Jesus stepped in. She was not going to reach there. So many people today, sometimes my, my, I have tears in my eyes. Sometimes I'm in the spirit, I'm crying when I'm seeing certain things. And, and I'm saying to myself, you know, they are a destiny, a beautiful destiny. Right? But as I spoke about David with a stone, he chose to stay in the brook, by the brookside. Right? I stay in a bag. Okay? But God had a purpose for you with that stone. And that stone was to destroy the giant. Okay? Not just the giant of this world, but actually to bring salvation. Right? And so all of these things, because I'm not talking so much about David with that and all of that, but I'm, I'm just saying to you that uh, our destiny. And as we step into this new year, it is good for us to consider our destiny. Because as I said, fast your seatbelt. A lot of things are going to happen. Okay? And you better, you better know where you stand. Okay? Because the Bible said that God is, is searching. God is people he's taken out of this world. Right? And the devil is determined to wipe out everybody, to tear on everybody. Had it not been for the mercy of Almighty God, he said, except those days should be shortened, then no flesh should be saved. So today we are thanking God that he has given us the plan and has given us the opportunity to live for him. And so, um, <laughs> sing that song, it says at the cross.
that hope of eternal life. God, you cannot lie, it's promised. It's not really different from yesterday. It's just because the calendar says it's a different year. And uh, I know a lot of people stayed up uh, um, waiting, they said, for midnight for the year to come in. My God, and so much um, emphasis is made upon all of this. But in truth and in fact, today is really no different from yesterday. My God, and it's no different in your sight. My God, really, because you removed the end from the beginning. My God, and yesterday, we were alive, today we are alive, some people didn't make it, my God. And every day we are counting the days and the years because of time, of time, just time, which can expire at any, at any moment, our Father, and we are gone off of this planet. And so today we are glad because there is a judgment to come, there is eternity to come. And for us we want to be in eternity, uh, we don't want to face the judgment and the wrath of God, mighty God, oh God, and so we want to be in eternity today, Father. Destiny, your word is saying, go with eternity. Oh God, the destiny for time unto eternity. I pray, Father, that you be uh, for everyone who is on the sound of my voice today, those who will really watch this program afterward, may they consider their destiny, where they are going. Oh God, so many people, as I said last year, I said it many times. When 2020 was coming, they told it was 2020 year of plenty. How many people perish? They didn't even have food to eat. My God, and, and the world has been has, has not been the same since. And nobody ever thought that something like this could just happen, especially in such a just like that overnight, as it were. My God, but all of these things were planned by the adversary, the devil. All these things planned by the Father. They were up his sleeves and he just taking down the cards one by one. But we thank you for you, the great Abba Yahweh, who knows the end from the beginning, our Father. And you have all of these things well set up from the time and to eternity, eternity. And so, Father, today you have appointed a day, your word said, in which you judge the world in righteousness by that man whom you have ordained. Who have forgave assurance to all men in that you raised them from the dead. And so, Father, is not your right hand making session for us. He's coming again in glory. And we who are ready, the wise virgins of our Father, will be able to meet him in white, in the fine linen, the righteousness of saints. Father, there's a time we should be clothed with our garment, and a time when we should have the garment white, a time, no time to have to take off the garment. Oh, Father, no time to have a cover-up garment, a garment that's messed up, Oh, Father, no time for that. And some people, even though they are Christian, they don't want to hear that the covenant of the Lord dry at night because they're not ready. And all they had to say is, my, my God, amen. I realize I'm not ready. I realize I'm not ready, but I want to be ready. I want to be whole. And the song said, Lord Jesus, I long to be perfectly whole. I want you to reign my soul. He said, wash me and make me whiter than snow. Today, our Father, I pray 
but those who are sincere, those who their hearts really want to be white and white, our Father, you are able to do it for them. And they're praying today, Father, I pray you wash us, make us white as snow. He said, though your sins be a, uh, um, be a scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red as crimson, they shall be as wool. Father, you have promised it. Amen. He said, if you be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. So, Father, I pray today that hearts would be in submission before thee. That hearts would be, have that desire. Because David said, one thing have I desired. It's just being too many people today having too many things they desire, my God. You know, they have so many desires on their list, right? And, 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 and salvation is somewhere in the middle, mixed up in it, my Father. And, and, and um, the devil would make sure that um, they, they would never be able to come to that number, okay? Because salvation might be somewhere right there, number 10. It could be somewhere at their number 5. At their number 15, at their number 50, at their number 100. But wherever it is, the devil is going to make sure that they never reach to that number. And they would spend their time with other numbers. But Father, even as David said, one thing have I desired of the Lord, hallelujah. And I just don't desire it, but I'm going to seek after it. And it's that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire this temple. Amen. So Father, today there are some of us who are, when we look at our desires, there is just one thing, only one thing that is important. One thing. And that is eternity. To dwell in the house of the Lord eternally. My God. Not to be in a building um, which that doesn't really matter. Because even no matter what building it is, you will have to go home. Unless in those days you were like a priest who would live there. But you have to go home afterwards. But you want to be in eternity. Where eternity is your home. And so Father today, our desire is to reach that home. To reach that city. Amen. Where there will be no death, no more sorrow, no more crying, no more piety. No more Father, no more sin, no more Satan, no more devils of hell. Our Father, those things have passed away. And so, Father, we are waiting for that time to come when our Lord Jesus shall come in glory. Father, my desire is to live for Thee. Oh, Father, my desire, one thing, is one thing, one thing, one thing. So, Father, I pray you bless us to live for Thee. Oh, God, I pray that You would give us the grace and the strength. And You are well able to do exceeding, abundantly, Above all that we ask our things. So we look to you by faith, our Father. And so we commit our lives into your hand, Lord. And as children of God, we commit our lives into your hand. New year, but it's still just another day, our Father. Amen. But time will march right into eternity. And it, time will be cut off at one time. It will to come to an end. And so, Father, today, here we are. Amen. We commit ourselves to you, our Father. And those who are not saved, May they commit themselves to thee, Abba Father, that as we march on, and we go into eternity. And so, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, Abba Father. I pray you cause us to rise up before thee. Establish our going out and our coming in. And grant that the purpose you have for our lives will accomplish in us for time unto eternity. Abba Father, and cover on the blood of shed the great eternal lamb. Cover on the almighty wings of the great eternal lamb. Go before us to the pillar of fire by night, after by day. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. In the mighty name of Yeshua, we share the great Lord. Amen. And Christo Jesus, the Senor. Amen. And Jesus Christ, the Lord. This thing went out again. What's going on with this thing? I don't even know. My God. We are the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let me just cut it out for you, man. I don't know. It's going on here. Yeah.